Good morning, my name is James and I worship at Parkhead Nazarene along with my fiancée Tiffany and my two boys Flint and Cruz. The psalm I've picked this morning I believe to be describing the majority of the Bible and the words within it describe our lives and also our faith. It tells us a clear message and I believe it to be one of the strongest messages that God wants us to remember in every minute of every day and every season in our lives. So let me read it to you. And I'll explain that why. The psalm I've picked this morning is Psalm 27 and it's verse 1. Um, and it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Now there's two key points in that psalm for me. The first one is, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And it got me thinking back to a time when I was younger. And I probably a lot of you can kind of relate to this is I remember when I was younger my mum tucking me into bed and saying right good night giving you a kiss you've done your prayer and she would then turn the light off and I would beg her please please leave the night light on it'll protect me it'll protect me from the bad monsters and I won't be afraid and this wee night light will protect me and it made me think back to now putting that into context within my adult life and within my faith and I think to myself in that circumstance, on a grander scale, when we have the protection of the most powerful being in the universe, how can anything make us afraid? Because the Lord is our light through every situation. Every situation, every dark situation that we've all been through, any dark time, anything you're struggling with, you feel as if you can't go on, you can't see a way out, the Lord is our light. And it says that in the first part of the psalm. And the second bit is, the Lord is my strength. And it's the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? And then I started thinking, the last couple of days, the podcasts that I've been listening to, the worship music I've been listening to, it's almost like God was trying to tell me when I was preparing for this, what he wanted me to speak about this morning, and that was the strength part, and what the God's, God's strength himself. And his strength is the strongest of anything we'll ever know, anything we'll ever come to know, because... Through the Bible and through many stories in the Bible, it got me thinking about God's strength and people that put their trust in God and he showed them his strength. And first of all, the first one I thought of was David and Goliath. Now, David, a quarter of the size of Goliath, probably Goliath's body armour weighed the same weight as David. And for 40 days, the Bible tells us that Goliath taunts Israelites and... He's been beaten and killing men since he was a child himself. And he's asking him, fight me, fight me, fight me. And all the Israelite army are like, ah, not a chance. Nope, no thank you. Um, and David has this bold strength about him, his inner strength, that he just takes upon this challenge and says, I'll fight you. I'll fight him. And even though everybody tells David, you are mad. This is not going to end well. There's only one winner. David commands upon everybody that says this to him, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. And through that story, I think, I mean, the Lord's strength through that situation and when he takes down the giant and we look at that, that giant in many of our lives now and you think we come across giants every day, you know, trying to just get yourself through the day with two kids. That's a pretty big giant in the morning. Um, trying to keep yourself going through this lockdown situation when you're feeling as if like this is just becoming Groundhog Day. That's a giant. But this just made me think, the Lord's strength is just such an amazing thing and it's and through the whole Bible it just it made me think that having the Lord's strength in your life and having the Lord strengthen through you and your faith in him, you just it's unstoppable. It's unstoppable. And that's what the devil hates. The next book I thought was about Samson, and Samson was the only book in the Bible that the Lord's strength was a physical strength that he, he gave, he blessed Samson with, but it wasn't until Samson trusted in the Lord that he then accomplished his greatest victory, because again, God's strength worked through Samson's body, and through his muscles, and through his strength, and the next one I thought was Joshua, when Joshua led the people through battle after battle, he led his people to 
to inhabit a land that God had promised Abraham hundreds of years ago. And you must have thought through battle after battle when it tells you that, you think there must have been times when Joshua was at his knees thinking, God, I can't go on. I've not got the strength to go on. I just can't continue to do this anymore. And God's strength was pulled through Joshua's body to get his people to the land in which they were to inhabit that he'd promised Abraham hundreds of years before. And I think the final one for me, and I think when you think about it, God's greatest strength was shown in the final chapter. And the final chapter, what I mean by that is, just as the world thought that the curtain was about to fall over Jesus' life and Jesus' time on this earth, God's strength and his almighty strength woke his son from the dead. From three days he'd been lying in a tomb, God's strength pulled and breathed life back into his son's body and Jesus was resurrected. And I think there's no words to describe that. That is a strength that we all strive to have within our lives 24-7, which isn't possible. But I've definitely come to learn within this lockdown situation that asking God for his strength and just to strengthen yourself through him and through him and him, I mean, worship, prayer, quiet time, just, you know, on your knees, talking to God. I mean, there's so many circumstances that I feel strengthened in my life when I've just spoken to God and I've asked him and I've just said to him, listen, I'm on my knees, I'm here. Tell me, tell me what you want me to do and strengthen me. And there's been many a time he has, and I'm so very grateful for it. So I'd like to just finish this this morning with a prayer um, before we finish. So, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for the strength in which you fill us in our day-to-day -day lives, the strength in the morning when you open your eyes to, to be able to go through the challenges of the day that lay ahead of us. We just thank you for your love and for filling us up when we feel weary, when we feel as if we can't physically go on, you then pour your strength through our veins and pick us back up and push us back on our way again, Lord. And I thank you for that. I thank you for your love and your undying desire just to see us progress and for us to flourish in the way that you want us to, Lord. And I pray this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks very much for watching.